When Iran itself, the country that has promised to destroy Israel since 1979, since the rise of Khomeini, is sending those rockets over, uh, it's very, very scary. Dozens of ballistic missiles flew toward Israel on Tuesday, toward Rabbi Saul Strasberg's family. As air raid sirens sounded, his brother went with his wife, children, and their neighbor's dog into their home's bomb shelter. Now they have drawing tanks and making, making battle plans to get back at the neighbors. Their resilience and strength in the face of terror and pain is truly remarkable. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of historic times throughout Jewish history, so things are always happening. Um, I think the most important thing is to um, help people where they're at, to listen, and to assure them that everything will be okay. Look out, look out, look out above us. The attacks come as Jews get set to celebrate Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year, which starts Wednesday at sundown. The rabbi will be reminding the congregation at Sherith Israel in the new year to stay present. You know, on the one hand, we need to keep secure and safe and situationally aware. On the other hand, if you're on social media or your phone or the computer or TV, then you are not in the space you need to be in. And if a spiritual moment requires, to a certain extent, being disconnected from things in the world and focusing on yourself and the people who are physically around you and your community. Reporting in Nashville, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.